call it now. Stop running, woo! Stop running, woo, laddie! Investigation underway in Harlem after a man was stabbed to death. It happened just before one this morning on West 154th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. How you up, six wing? His shit is on his own my body. We only on lies. That nigga's been no. There's really no woo. We the ones that smoke it all. Niggas really no woo though. I ain't gonna lie. Yes. He gets shot today. Yeah. Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know these shootings seem like they at an all-time high. Dudes in the hood gotta be feeling thankful that they even reached 20 because the beef is out of control. One of the latest cats to lose their life, none other than Wu Lottie. He's been mentioned on tracks, and it's often in a disrespectful manner. His life was lost in one of the most cruel ways you can imagine when the ops ran down on him. It's wild how his life ended. So today, we are gonna look into what led to his life being taken so tragically, and why his name is mentioned so much by the ops. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. When you hear the Bronx being mentioned, you already know it's some tough thoroughness going on. But nowadays, it seems like the bloodshed has gotten even more senseless, and it's mainly involving these youngins. And now with rap, it's just pushing that type of image all the way to the forefront. You got teenagers out here banging and spinning blocks, putting in work for their game. One prominent feud is the YGs and the OGs. And the two have been locked in a back and forth that has caused a lot of pain and loss and corrupted new savages coming up in the streets. The sad thing is that it wasn't always this way. What's more is the two have been tight in the past. That's the messed up thing about it. How you go from being homies to ops with so much bitter hatred for each other? But the streets will do that to you. Most of these beefs always date back to some type of falling out over money or a shorty or a body that dropped early on. And then that sparks a whole beef that continues on in the generations. And after a while, people start forgetting what they even fighting for. It's crazy like that. The thing is, in this era, the beef between the YGs and the OGs is what took Wu Lottie's life. But it doesn't just start there. While Wu Lottie was coming up, he was a youngin' already being molded into the brotherhood of get back and revenge. Videos of him and his homie d thing showed them in their younger days thugging it out, smoking and being a little wild once already influenced by the trenches. In time, he became one of the YGs leading the new school in the beef against the OGs. Wu Lottie was out in the streets terrorizing the ops, walking through the op block with the gang rallying next to him looking for the next op to add to the scoreboard. It was a constant back and forth between him and the ops trying to talk down on his name as a YG's banger. Lottie was moving reckless for real though. He wasn't backing down from nobody. When the ops tried to act like they was forgetting who he was, Lottie reminded him about how he caught their mans lacking and told them that they can pull up and get it too. Lottie was ready to catch a homie over the ops playing with his name. Bodies were dropping from each camp and things were looking dark for the young cats getting hypnotized by the hood shenanigans. The decline of peace made the news and the statistics were showing that the teens were the ones getting down in the streets. One heartbreaking homicide really showed the grim state of where the beef between the YGs and the OGs was at. April 16, 2012, 16-year-old Moses Laura, aka the OG's youngin' Noah Baller, was hit up in the worst way. A group of YG's members was out drinking when they got into it about who put in the most work for the squad. To settle the argument, they went to an op block to catch a body. They caught Noah Baller at his Melrose House's home in Cortland Ave. Noah had no time to escape as the crew swarmed him, knocking him to the ground and stomping him unconscious and beating him with objects. They did him so bad he fractured his skull in several places and blood stained the streets. By the time he got to the hospital, it was too late. He succumbed to the damage that was caused by the blunt impact injuries to the head and neck. OGs lost a well-respected member that day, but the YGs wasn't holding no punches. D-Thang, who was Wu Lottie's little homie, was a savage with the taunts. 
posted Noah's bloody shoes with the caption, these the Noah's with laughing emojis. Damn, dudes was really heartless. Little did D thing know, his side would be the one morning somebody close in times to come. While the beef continued, rap became an outlet that would have many starting to use that as an escape from the wild environment they were in. The Bronx started seeing a trend of many hood savages jumping on the rap train, and that turned the rap game into a whole different breed of music. It was like the dude stopped focusing on the goal of finding success and leaving the dangers of the trenches behind, and instead used the music to start throwing gasoline on their beats. Tracks were merciless with the wildness and mocking their ops. To no surprise, Wu Lotti got in on the rapidy raps, and sure enough, he was targeting his ops. The first verse was from the track Forest Talk with Black and Ease and Get Back. The second was Bands Up with Von Fettuccini. In the second song, Something Stands Out, Wu Lotti got a large bandage on the side of his neck area. Some speculate that it's from a run in with the ops. If that's the case, it would only be a foreshadow of what was to come. Unfortunately, According to reports, on April 7th, 2020, Wu Lottie, whose real name is Glenn Cole, was with other YGs when a white car along with four men on foot chased Wu Lottie and his gang to West 154th Street in St. Nicholas Ave, where Lottie tripped and fell. His ops ran down on him while he was on the ground and went in. Oh, stop running, bitch. Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu Lottie! Armed with metal trash cans, brooms, and knives, and they not only beat bro up, but they left him shanked up with wounds to his torso and thigh. Lottie was left bleeding at around 12.50 a.m. He would be rushed to Harlem Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Investigation underway in Harlem after a man was stabbed to death. It happened just before one this morning on West 154th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. The ops couldn't wait to celebrate at the expense of another youth losing his life and the level of disrespect on bro name gained traction. Lottie name was being tossed around like it was in the dictionary. From memes to songs on IG, the ops weren't letting up on his name at all. I got a brain freeze from Lottie, bro. Lottie gave me a brain freeze. Shit. One rapper that was going extra hard was Shy E.K. Shy E.K. and them was no stranger to the YG's banger Wu Lottie. When talking on the ops, they always included Wu when they wanted smoke. Hi, bro. They tag all the ops. Yo, tag Nux, tag Wu Wu, tag all of Man. In fact, Shy E.K. and Wu Lottie been on opposing sides since they was youngins. Shy E.K. has been waiting for the moment he could roll Wu Lottie up in a spliff, and when the moment came, he didn't waste time capitalizing and dissing him every chance he had. Yeah, smoking bad, Lottie. Don't forget what you ran into. They were already going in on Lottie's passing, but the ops be taking things way too far, I swear. Videos would be posted of them kicking down candles that were set up for Lottie. The ops were having a field day, but the laughs were about to be dumbed down. Not by the YGs just yet, but by the biggest of the biggest Gs, the cops. On May 4th, 2020, less than a month after Lottie was taken out, Chief Kenneth Corey, the NYPD chief of department, tweeted that the murder had been solved involving the case of Glenn Cole, aka Wu Lottie. Soon after, another post came confirming that five people were arrested for the hit. Reports later claimed stating that two of the five were charged in relation to the stabbing, a 25-year-old man and a teen. Reports would further detail that police used video surveillance to find the driver of the whip, who they identified as 28-year-old Williams Hopeton. Footage showed that just hours before the incident, Hopeton rented the vehicle at a zip car location in Harlem. Both Hopeton and the team were charged with murder and gang assault. Given Hopeton was arrested based on him being the driver, it gives reason to believe that it was the team's actions that really did Lottie in. There were, however, hints as to who the team might be. Later that year, E.Baby released the track Rundown Game. 
In the music video, they can be seen doing dance moves, swinging their hands around, mimicking getting shanked. And at the end of the hook, E. Dot Baby says, Y'all ninjas broke, man, get y'all bands up. Notice one of the few songs Lottie rapped in was named Bands Up, and he was shanked until lifeless. Everything was sounding like speculation until the charges were made. He was known as the one and only Rundown, a member of YG Affiliates, original youngins, and they rapped Sugar Hill, the same hood that Lottie was called lacking in. Hmm. And E. Dot Baby dropped Rundown Gang with the Lottie references. The song was low key another way to taunt the ops. The public was unaware, but E. Dot knew exactly what he was doing, naming the track that and including those references. That's how rap is being used to continue these feuds that continue to take lives. E. Dot Baby is also cool with Rundown OY, and they have popped up in each other's lives in the past. They got the talent, the vibe, the wave, but so many of them already wasted it, inciting more cruelty only to lose their life. The way to a better future is there for them, but it will take banding together and taking Bronx music higher. But unity seems like it's just the hope at this point. So hopefully, one day, there will be a change because division is what kept New York down in the first place. Rest in peace to all the youngins that done lost this life in this war. And until things get better, all I can say is stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.